Spider-Man Homecoming. I saw it. Honestly, I know this is a late review, however, I just I just want to get this free out there. I just want to talk about it. I know I've been laughing on the reviews lately, but I'm trying to get back up to speed. Um, so, Spider-Man Homecoming, right? It's 2017, right? We saw Tom Holland as his character, Peter Parker, a little glimpse of it, a little preview of what we were going to get. What's in store for us? What would be in store for us? Um, uh, last year, when Captain America Civil War, and he was in that for a little bit. And I thought it was he did a great job, and but can he carry his own movie? You know, can, can he, you know, he was a supporting character, right? Was in there for a little time, but can he, you know, I had faith in it, faith in him, but, you know. So how does it all up? Now let me tell you my brief history with Spider-Man the character slash Peter Parker as well. Spider-Man one and two, and three. I, hold, I own the whole Spider-Man trilogy on Blu-ray. It's Sam Raimi trilogy with Tobey Maguire. I love number one. I love Spider-Man 2. Um, Spider-Man 2 is actually my favorite Spider-Man movie, I'm going to say that. Spider-Man 3 was okay. Amazing Spider-Man movies I didn't like at all. Wasn't a big fan of those. So how does this one hold up? That's, that's probably the better question here. So, yes. Let me tell you something about this movie, though, first. Was that, you know, they didn't do all the origin, the origin story again, right? They basically skipped everything you knew already about the character of Spider-Man. By the way, he is my favorite superhero of Marvel, and probably my favorite superhero of any DC Marvel. Love this character. Love Peter Parker. Love Spider-Man. So, um, yes. So, you know, they skipped Uncle Ben dying. You know what I mean? There is no Uncle Ben. It's like, you already know, you know, he's dead, of course. Um, you know, they skipped that. You know, at least. I didn't have to watch that again. Um, you know, he's actually younger in this one. Peter Parker. Spider-Man. He's actually like 15, I think, in this movie. Um, which is why it makes sense to why Aunt May, played by uh, Marissa Tomei, is younger in this one. I mean, even there's a joke, you know what I mean? About, like, how she's younger, she's hot. You know. Um... That's why she's like more like relatable to Peter and stuff. Um, you know, they're bond matters. But uh, this is more also like a high school movie. You know what I mean? They focus more on Peter Parker in high school than they actually do in Spider-Man. But you do get a lot of Spider-Man action in this, you know. So let's talk about it. Alright, let's actually talk about this movie. I like the opening scene of uh, basically explaining kind of like a backstory, just a little bit of the Vulture played by the magnificent Michael Keaton. I love that guy. I swear. Anything, I mean, I love that guy. Who it's good to see him in anything. Um, but, you know, he's the Vulture, okay? By the way, he is fantastic. I mean, he is great in this movie. I shouldn't say fantastic. But he's great. He's awesome in this movie. I don't want to exaggerate, you know? Um, but yeah, so, the opening scene with Michael Keaton's Vulture character, of how he's just a normal guy and how he turns into the Vulture and why he wants to do, why he wants to be a villain, you know. And it's, it's good, it is good stuff, you understand, you know what I mean? But, yeah, so Spider-Man himself though, I thought a magnificent job by Tom Holland once again, he carries this movie, this is all about him of course. And him in high school, you know, you feel for Peter Parker, you understand, you know what he's going through, you know what I mean. And I will say this, right, some people might not necessarily like this movie because it's a diverse cast, we can say that. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Diverse cast, like, it's all a bunch of, you know what I mean, like, Liz, who's this crush in high school, right? She's obviously, I'm just saying, she's, I think she's black. His best friend is, I don't know, he's, I don't know what he is. Um, but it's not about that, that's what I'm talking about, it's like, it's a diverse cast, you know? So that's always good. Some people don't like that, actually. But yeah, I thought the high school tone and the tone of this movie I really liked. 
focusing on his high school stuff. Something also that's different. You didn't really get that a lot in the other movies. You know, focus on him and his best friend. Um, which were great. You know, a movie was also funny. Funny dynamic. Uh, great action sequences. Yes, you can nitpick and say, you know, the action sequences didn't have all the hype, didn't have all the build-up. You know, to the other previous Spider-Man installments, maybe, or maybe the Sam Raimi uh, movies with maybe like the Green Goblin, you know, Spider-Man 1 and, you know, Doc Ock and Spider-Man 2, you know, of how, you know, you got to know their characters a lot more and it was all pinning down to these big action sequences. I mean, they are exciting. They were great. Um, some negatives, I guess you can say, are some of, like, they have some of, like, these other villains type characters that didn't have a true purpose other than to see Spider-Man in action and, you know, kick ass. Um, yeah, other than that, I mean, it was, it was good, though. Um, also, like I said, you know, about the action sequences with Michael Keaton in specific, specifically um, that didn't have all the hype and like all the build like it could have been I guess more like impactful or more huge um, and yeah other than that though also there was worry as to if this movie was going to be an Iron Man movie was this going to be Iron Man 4 you know Tony Stark of course, Robert, the great Robert Downey Jr., he's also great. No, he's actually not. He's uh, in it um, sparingly. Uh, he's not really in it that much, to be honest. He's he's really in a few scenes. Maybe he's in there for six minutes max, I'd say. Um, so, yeah, that is good. That was a, that was a worry, because they did have him, prom um, you know, advertised in trailers and stuff. And, yeah. So yeah, um, also Flash Thompson, you know, he called him like Penis Parker and shit, but he didn't really, they never really got into any action, like any like real physical bullying. Like yeah, the real bullying, okay, you get it. I'm just saying, I thought that we were, I, kinda, I, was, like, I was kind of expecting more with that. Not saying I look forward to that, all that, like, you know, oh, let's see what he does with Flash Thompson, but in the Sam Raimi movies, well, specifically the first one, you remember that scene where, like, they're in the lunch, and, like, you know, he goes after him, basically, and that's when he starts basically discovering his powers, and he kicks it, basically punches the shit out of him. Um, yeah. Like that, he calls him, like, yeah, it's, I mean, it's really about it. Uh, you know. Also, the suit, uh, I like the suit, actually. So, overall, this movie was a ton of fun, a great, a great Spider-Man movie. It's not my favorite, but it doesn't have to be. All it has to be is a great summer movie, and it was that, so, um, yeah, basically, guys, so, this is what's gonna happen right now, right? This is what's gonna happen. Oh, also, one more thing. There was, there was, well, I don't know if this is a spoiler or not. There's two variations of a character. I, I mean, I don't know. And I just didn't know if that was needed. So, other than that, guys, I'm going to give Spider-Man Homecoming the grade of a oven A-. minus. There you guys go. This is now, that was your spoiler-free section of the review. Here we go now with the spoiler review. So if you have not seen Spider-Man Homecoming by now, click off the video. I'm going to give you time. Make sure you exit. Don't don't press any other button. Okay. Sp spoilers coming now. Okay. A few things I just want to maybe touch base on, right? And that's the fact that... Um, First, the reveal, right? The reveal of Michael Keaton, this Vulture character, being 
Liz is dead. Yep. Because of course he asks her. To, he asks. He asks her to homecoming. She says yes. They go. He arrives at the house. Knocks. And uh, I didn't expect that. I mean, honestly, at first, like he knocks, and the doors opens, and it, and it just opens to Michael Keaton. And at first, I was like. Wait, does he have like the wrong? Did he somehow get the wrong address? Did he get the wrong house? How is this happening? Comes in, sure enough, that's his daughter. He is the father of Liz. That was a nice twist. I didn't. I mean, I did not see that shit coming at all. That was br I was great stuff right there. I'm gonna. I will say that. <laughs> that was a nice touch to it. To be honest, so. That was revealed, and then like the way he's like, it's like he actually has a family. That's the thing. It's like he's actually a normal guy, but he's just a villain. He wants to stop these other, you know, guys. And so like Spider-Man in particular, and he finds out that he's Peter Parker and shit, and then that's when they have their climatic battle. And they have their climatic battle. He basically doesn't, he wants her to have a nice time, a fun time and shit, but he's like, treat her right, you know, make her have a good time, but he doesn't do that. He says he can't. When he arrives in there, because now he's just stunned. I mean, Peter Parker, he's just like, he doesn't know how to act. I mean, it's weird now. Um, so then they have their climate of battle. You know, of course, Spider-Man. He doesn't kill. Well, he, I mean, Vulture doesn't die. So he basically just goes to prison. Um, so yeah, maybe, I don't know, there's going to be like a, a trilogy. I think this is the start of a trilogy, Tom Holland said in an interview. I believe it was Tom Holland, so they could maybe, maybe he'll be the main villain for the trilogy. It's possible, I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, also, yeah, so we'll see. Because he was great, to be honest. Also, something else I want to touch base on was the MJ reveal. What, if you, yeah, okay. <laughs> Basically, Michelle, right, played by Zendaya. Zendaya, I don't know how you exactly say it. But... She was cool, I liked her, she was funny. You know what I mean? But it's revealed in like the scene with like all these people in it. He taught she taught like it's like she's like, yeah, I'm I'm she or you can call me MJ or something like that. It's I forgot. I forgot exactly what exactly what the dialogue that was said. But then it's like, oh yeah, it's like yeah, oh yeah, my friend oh yeah, it's like my friends call me MJ or something. And then and then they're like whoever is like, you know They're like I thought, you know, I thought you didn't have any friends. So yeah, she's MJ. She's Mary Jane. That was a nice, that was a twist that I was, eh. Like, you could have just had her be MJ from the beginning. Like, you didn't need to make it like that, you know what I mean? Uh, you could have just had her be MJ. You didn't have to Michelle. I mean, come on, now we know. I mean, obviously they're going to have a thing, now. I didn't feel that romantic, that romance, that attraction between them. I don't know how they'll do it now, but... Fucking hell. So that was something I didn't really need. Um, yes. So, yeah. And then at the end of the movie, Aunt May, I think, is gonna find out that he is Spider Man. We'll see. So, we'll see how that all plant, uh, plays out, too. Because in his, he's in his room, and he has his mask off, but he's kinda got, you know, suit. And then he's, you know, his back towards her. She's like, what the? And then it cuts. So, and then that's the end of the movie. We'll see how it all turns out and shit. And, um... Also, a few... The post credit scene, the last post credit scene, like, yeah, the post credit scene was funny. Cats America just coming out, like, expecting, like, hey, you expected something else? Yeah, so, I mean, you say, you wait all around, and then, you, you know, you, sometimes you gotta be patient, and then yeah, it's nothing, it was brilliant, honestly, great stuff. Um, so, I really think that's all I wanted to say in my spoiler section. I'm trying to think right now. Um, yeah, I had a blast with this movie, I can't wait for the other movies to come, how Spider-Man will be now included in the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um... And, yes, I think that is it for this review. Um,
Oh yeah, also, Spider-Man actually does got a spot to be an Avenger, but he doesn't take it. And I liked that, actually, him just being like, no, because, you know, he just wants to be your friendly neighbor at Spider-Man, you know, low-key, I guess, basically. Just practice, to protect his part of the city. The suit that they gave him was kick-ass. I would have taken it. I don't know why he didn't, but hey, that's okay. Also, I liked how the... F yeah, I liked, I liked the movie, so there you go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. What did you guys think of Spider-Man Homecoming? What's your favorite Spider-Man movie? Let me know in the comment section below. So, more, uh, also, a Worf the Planet of the Apes, um, review is coming up, so look forward to that, uh, and that will be up very soon. So thank you guys for watching, and it's an SM, guys. Peace out.